Hardline EU governments could block Michel Barnier from compromising in Brexit talks because no deal would provide a political boost back at home. European sources said some countries are preparing to demand Britain be made an example of in order to help beat domestic surges in Eurosepticism brought on by the coronavirus pandemic. The outbreak has provided platforms for anti-Brussels politicians, such as Italy's Matteo Salvini, after the bloc proved slow in its response to the crisis. Now the likes of Italy and France want to stop Britain gaining easy access to the EU's single market because it could be weaponized by Eurosceptic politicians in the future. An EU source said, some countries are entering election season where Eurosceptic sentiments will be used versus governments, and therefore Brussels, as a platform by as the basis of their campaigns. For some countries it will be beneficial to take the hit in order to fend of Eurosceptics in their own country. But this could also herald a new push towards a bare minimum Brexit when Boris Johnson, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen and European Council President Charles Michel hold talks on Monday. Member states want to avoid offering too many concessions to British negotiators because the favourable conditions could soon be targeted by Eurosceptics. An EU diplomat said, the baseline has moved down significantly, we're no longer talking about a broad and comprehensive trade agreement. At this end the trajectory for the best case scenario is a minimum trade agreement. Michael Gove yesterday said Michel Barnier, the EU's negotiator, could be ready to budge on key areas in the trade talks. But the cabinet office minister added some EU member states have been a little more reluctant. And Michel Barnier, on a number of issues, on fisheries and on state aid, has indicated that he is inclined to move, he said. Some EU member states have been a little more reluctant. I think it would be in everyone's interests, EU member states, the Commission, and of course the UK government, if Michel Barnier were able to use the flexibility that he has deployed in the past in order to secure an arrangement that would work in everyone's interests.